I would speak with my sons. And this wild, tempest-laden night suits the purpose best. Call them. Hiya, Pop. Didst thou call us, my lord? Yes, didst. Gather closely, my son. I have a terrible confession to make. <laughs> okay, Pop. Spill the porridge. You? Yes. You? Yes, yes. yes. You are of noble blood. Years ago, I was the royal chamberlain of the kingdom of anesthesia. And Mama? She was the royal chambermaid. Our old kingdom is in danger. The present prime minister is plotting to either kill or oust our young queen. Well, what can we do? Offer your swords in the queen's service. All for one, one for all, every man for himself. Rightfully, you are the Duke of Durham. You, the Count of Five. And I, the Count of Ten? No, you are Baron of Grey Matter. Father, we shall do your bidding. Two clubs. I double. I redouble. I triple. Stop. You're too late. Come close, my sons, that I may bless you. All for one. One for all. Right for myself. Oh. His Highness, Prince Boris, Prime Minister of Anesthesia. Our most gracious and regal majesty, our own Queen Anne of Anesthesia. Three gentlemen of noble birth and mien desire an audience with your majesty. Who are they? From what they say, I gather, they are the Duke of Mixture, the Fife of Drum, and Baron of Brains. Call the guards. Call all the guards! Calling all 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 guards! Did you call me, your majesty? Bid the three strangers enter. From whence came you? Paris. Sure, the postcards. And what were you doing in Paris? Oh, looking over the parasites. What brings you here? There are rumors of intrigue against your majesty. But don't worry. We'll guard you well, Annie. Queenie to you. We accept your offer and appoint you the Queen's Royal Guards. All for one. One for all. I'll take care of myself. <laughs> I'll take the blonde. I'll take the brunette. I'll take the black and tan. Hey, there's four of them. We'll throw the other one to the dogs. Your Majesty, the royal wrestlers await. I'll bet on the little guy. How much? Three thousand guineas, two geese, and a duck. That's a foul bet. Throw in a chicken, I'll take half of it. Ooh. 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 
fool. That's nothing. It's a frame-up. Queenie, he's got the strongest feet in the kingdom. I would see you perform. Keep a step up a lip, Queenie. We'll be back in a jiffy. You'll abduct the Queen today. Then the kingdom will be mine. Heads in the way of
arrows. Maybe they'll miss us. That'll be a narrow escape. <laughs> Draw! way we can die. You may either have your head cut off or be burned at the stake. <laughs> cut my head off. Not me. I'd rather be burned at the stake. Why? A hot steak is better than a cold chop. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. Hey! Boy, if we could only find Queenie, our lives would be spared. Yeah. Her Majesty's hidden in the wine cellars, a friend. Let's go. Not me. Oh, come on. Not me. Now you're coming? Sydney. Come on, even if we can't find a queen, we can at least get a drink. Oh, hey, wait for me, will you? Long live the queen. <laughs> Boris won't let her live long. <laughs> hey, who's going to get those guys out of there? Will toss for it. Art man does the dirty work. Got any coins? Art man loses. Okay. What do you got? Ed, what do you got? Tail. Ed, you lose. I never beat those guys. Now listen, you attract their attention one at a time, see? Have them chase you by here, and we'll do the rest. Right. You fellas look around there and I'll go this way. Do the same as you did before. Lead them past us. We'll do the rest.
next case? Your Lordship, a grave situation. The three ruffians about to appear before the court are in a fit way to wreck our empire. What sayest ye? Ay, your Lordship, only this morn these brigands attacked His Majesty's guard and did them battle on the very threshold of the palace. Bring forth, young Barney. Time signal. Fifteen seconds before 11 a.m. Baloney watch time. Shut us up. Order! Order! Order? I'll take a ham sandwich. Hold thy tongue. Not tongue, ham. Continue, Counselor. Your Lordship, these rogues do lay claim to be kin to the three musketeers. One for all. All for one. Every man for himself. Silence, ye name. Ye are accused of doing battle with his Majesty's guard. What say ye to the charge? I can explain, Judge. You see it? It was like this, Edison. Guilty! I sentence ye to Newgate Prison for 40 years. Ye to 45. Ye to 50. 40? 45? 50? I got 50. 50. 50, 50, 50, 50. Do I hear 55? Do I hear 55? Going once, twice? Do I hear 55? Who'll make it 55? I shall. Thank you. Fifty-five years for the lot of ye at hard labor. But your lordship, it will cost the crown a pretty penny to feed yon wastrels for fifty-five years. Why not send them to our colonies in America to fight the red-skinned savage? Hmm. I just love corned beef and savage. Silence. I now sentence ye knaves to defend our colonists from the savages. Gadzooks, they'll scalp us alive. Not me. <laughs> A pleasant journey, gentlemen. The same, sire, to be. Ship Pimpernel did anchor last eve. So soon? I only one year in crossing. Well, well. Oh, oh we've come to see the governor. Be thou the governor's daughter? I, sir, I be faith. And this is hope. And this is charity. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wish the word with thee, my little charming wallflower. What doest thou? I saw her first. Tish posh and tish tosh. I'll never give up hope. Why dost thou not take charity? I need not charity. I'm on the WPA. WPA? Aye, Willing Pilgrims Association. Hmm. All my life I have been looking for a maid like thee. Toots? Oh, give us a break, kid. I'm a stranger in town and knoweth not a soul. <clears throat> by the by, see what I have brought thee. What's...
Shame that ye dance while the colony is in dire need of food. Who be thou? And what do ye hear? We be sent by His Majesty to defend the colonies. Our credentials, sire. Hmm. Boston Downs. Weather clear, track fast, first race, whopper. Two to one. They're off. Who's in the quarter? Whopper. Who's in the half? Whopper. Who's in the stretch? Whopper. Who's the winner? Rosemont. Who's the winner? Rosemont. Oh! The wrong credential, sire. I am so sorry. I prithee, you have not come at once. The Indians have arrived to sue for peace. Wouldst thou go to the meeting? Oh, wouldst. Come. Shoulder. Arms. About. Face. Oh. Forward. March. Peace. No more war. Oh, no more war. Give. Five thousand shackle. But we have no more than this. Mm. Good down payment. Take mortgage on balance. Interest six percent. Thank goodness. At last we are free to hunt. No, no hunt till FOB. FOB? Mm. Fork over balance. Indian givers. But, Chief, if we cannot hunt, the colonists will starve. Oh, look, come, more. Well, but listen, much. Chief, I oh, pray thee. Oh, 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 oh. we, we shall, shall perish, perish of hunger. Oh, woe is us. Oh, woe is us. Tis a chance to redeem ourselves, lads. We shall hunt anyway and feed the colonists. Thou hast said a mouthful. I shall bring it a moose. And I shall bring it an elk. I'll bring a couple of hard fellas. <laughs> To the hunt! To the, the hunt! hunt. A hunting we must go it. A hunting we shall go it. Right, face! Oh. Left about, face! Oh. Forward, march! A hunting we will go. Hallelujah! A hunting we will go. Yeah, man. A hunting yeah, we will go. Yeah, It's best we disguise, lads. No hunting, fishing, or swimming. Chief rain and the puss. Huh. No camping, no shooting, no smoking, and they call this the land of liberty? Wait. Heed them not, they are only Indian signs. Verily, I'm disgusted, not a turkey in sight. Oh, my children. Give me the bird. Nay, tis mine. Wait, give him the bird. How oh, I shall gobble this gobbler. <laughs> Look, turkeys. Load thy guns. What do we do now? Fire at will. Which one is will? Ready. Aim. Fire! Indian. 
Why don't ye look where ye swish it? Hold that. Look. We're trapped like rats. You're getting personal. What do we do? Ammunition, men. Man the guns. Ah! A bullseye. More ammunition. before they revive. Larry, the Indians must have him by now. We must save him, lest they chop off his head or burn him at the stake. <laughs> I see him. <laughs> Gadzooks, what now? Keep a stiff upper chin. We'll surround him. <laughs> Present arms. Left face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
him, friend. I did not recognize thee. Quite so, quite so. Oh. Oh. Make haste, lest we be too late to save our comrade. Where I smack it. <laughs> Quick, he's fainted. Bringeth water. I'll be back before thou canst say Ticonderoga. If thou canst say Ticonderoga. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ted. Will you get up? We're in trouble. Come on. You're ungrateful. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with thee, thou quince head? Get over there with a the club. You help me. For six months, and all I got is blisters. I'm still getting blisters. There goes our last tire. We ought to trade this car in next year. Yeah, I hope it lasts till we get home. Home, sweet home. I can hardly wait. Gee, the old neighborhood still looks the same. Hey, here's our house. Turn in quick. the key. The car ain't insured. Got the key? Yeah. Good. How do you like that? Somebody living in our house. Let's throw him out. Come on. Hey. What's the idea of moving into our apartment? Come on, beat it. I'm sorry, mister. Sis and I didn't know anyone lived here, so we just moved in. But we'll get out right away. Hey, where's your father? We ain't got no father. Just sis and I. Wait a minute, son. We made a mistake. This ain't our house. We didn't have any curtains. Go on, sit down and do your homework. Oh, thank you. Take it easy. There we are. I'm stuck. 
How much is six and six? Well, hey, you help him. Six and six? Uh-huh. Don't tell me. Two sixes. Hmm, boxcars. Boxcars? Yeah, it looks like two lumps of sugar with smallpox. You throw it up Hey, hey, wait a minute. What are you trying to line the kid? Come on, we got places to go. Get going. What's the matter with you? It's him. He's on a sit-down strike. We gotta get some tires. Tires? Where? Right here, where we got the car. Oh. Go. Oh. There's one. Get it out. up in cans. Well, they don't. Sure, see? Canned coin. Why are we prospecting up in the hills when there's gold mine right in our own backyard? Certainly. What are we waiting for? We'll start right here. Come on. What's the idea? Hit me with tin can. Oh, I didn't do it. Did you? Oh! Hey, what are you doing here? This is our claim. Oh, we didn't mean to disturb anything, but we had $62 hidden in a tin can, and now it's gone. Money we were saving for my leg operation. You see, if we could get Jimmy's leg fixed up, then he could walk like other boys. There's your money, lady. We didn't know. Oh, gee, thanks. Look, Jimmy. Oh, you don't know what this means to us. When are you going to have the operation done? As soon as we get five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars? Well, that's almost a million. What do you leave your money laying around in cans for? Why don't you put it in the bank? Will the bank give it back to us? Oh, sure. They didn't used to, but now they do. And when you take it out, they give you some more. I had a dollar once. That's enough. We'll put the money in the bank for you, lady. And then all you have to do is wait till it grows to 500. Oh, gee, thank you very much. Come on, General. We got banking to do. Give her a twist. Switch on. Switch on. Get under it. Grab that motor. I'll get it. Don't worry. <laughs> Why didn't you catch it? There's 62 bucks there. How long do we have to wait before it swells to 500? 62 dollars? Yes, sir. That'll take you 104 years, six months, and 17 days. Oh, we can't wait that long. Why not? Time marches on. That guy won't cash this check. Never mind. I think I see some easy money. Right. Let's give him the business. We can't do business with you. Let's try another bank. Sure. Mm. Oh, like? Pardon me, gentlemen. How would you like to get in our deal where you can make thousands? 
That ain't enough. We gotta make five hundred dollars. Go on, stranger. You strangely interest me. Now, I have a house. Yes, sir. And I, I know that you... This is the house I was telling you about, boys. There's a treasure in it. It was buried by Captain Kidd's kid. No kidding. That's right. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Just a minute. It'll cost you $200 for the privilege of digging it up. $200? $200 or nothing. Oh, we'll take it for nothing. Yeah. Now, we got $62 here. How would that do? Throw in the car and it's a deal. That money belongs to the boy. I know, but we're investing it for him, ain't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a deal. Get the tools. Go ahead. Say, how will we know where to dig? Oh, uh, why, uh, give him the map. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Here, follow that map and you can't go wrong. Thanks. Oh, I'll come. So long, chumps. Chumps? You don't even know our names. Come on, we gotta get that 500 for the kid. Come on. Oh. Oh. Hey, somebody beat us to the furniture. Let the finance company worry about that. Hey, where do we start? Right here. Give me the tool. Come on, stop dancing. We got work to do. Where's the map? Right here. Well. Walla Walla with an X. I got it. X marks the spot where the treasure is buried. It's in the Walla. But there's two Wallas. Certainly. There's a Walla, and there's a Walla over there. Which one's it buried in? It don't make any difference. We'll each take a Walla. Come on. <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> You find anything? Yeah, I found that first step everyone tells you to watch out for. Well, don't lose it. Mm. Walla walla with the next. the idea of pulling the building down. I found part of the treasure. See? Where? There. Right now. Get that big bucket down here. You're down here? But I ain't down there. <laughs> oh. 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 What's the idea? 
What's the big idea? I just dropped in. Well, if we knew you was coming, we'd have baked the cake. What's the matter with you, Al? How do you like that? Get busy. Oh, shut up. Take the shovel. Remember, we got to get the money for the kid. Now get busy. That's an eye. Yeah, an eye for an eye. Get out. And the tooth for a tooth? Certainly. Get away from here. Now get busy. Oh. What's going on here? Oh. The idea is to get the dirt out of the hole. Oh. Now get shoveling. Wait a minute. We gotta dig a hole to put that dirt into. Get your pick. Here's one for you. Now, we'll start right there. Go ahead. Look, another wallet. A concrete one. Now we got a blast. Get a chisel and mallet. Hey, look out. You want to get hurt? Get over there. Remind me to kill you later. I'll make a note of it. I ain't got a pencil. Well, I changed my mind. I'm gonna do it now. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Grab that chisel, chiseler. Ooh. I'll do the whacking around here. Mm. Put it up there. Hey, what's that noise? Oh, that's from next door. Some guys rebuilding a house. Oh. It's true. All right, get the dynamite. Oh, boy, I like firecrackers. <laughs> ah. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, oh. What's the matter with you? You want to blow us all up? Light her up. <laughs> hey, we better get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> How you gonna get out of the room? Hey! Hey! Out of my way. Out of my way. Get off of me! Hey! Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of $500. The rest is profit. States Treasury. Treasury? It said Walla Walla on the map. Stay him up! Oh! 
I'm sorry, gentlemen, but the Senate subcommittee will have to wait. The president is in conference. Yes, sir. And when they told us the money was yours, you could have knocked us down with a gold bar. And that's the whole story, Mr. President. So help me. I see. Well, Jimmy, I shall arrange personally for your operation. Thank you, Mr. President. And as for you, gentlemen, in view of the extenuating circumstances, I find it possible to extend to you executive clemency. Oh, no, please, not that. Oh! Mr. President means we're free. No, yes. Gee, Mr. President, you're a swell guy. You said it. Order those immediately. Aye, aye, sir. Telegram, sir. Please wire my acceptance, Lieutenant. But, Admiral, Count Garrell is suspected of being a spy. Exactly. That's why I'm going there. Perhaps I can trip him up. Oh, I see, sir. Here, take my uniforms down and have them pressed. And tell those dumb tailors not to burn holes in them this time. Aye, aye, sir. You know, I'm getting sick and tired of this business. It was your bright idea. Join the Navy and see the world. No more smelly sweatshops. Beautiful girls in every port. Woo-woo, I got a good mind to punch you right in the nose. Yeah, we'd have still been all right if you hadn't blabbed off about us being tailors. Well, don't tailors sound like sailor? I got a good mind to bust this iron over your head. Hey, remember you had to pay for the last iron. Look! Look what you made me do to the captain's pants. Fix that hole. Hmm. You know, gasoline don't taste so good since Prohibition. What do you mean? Because they ain't so careful like when they use it for making gin. But it ain't bad. Here, taste it. Go on, scram and get to work. I... Hey, fellas, it's 12 o'clock. Come on, we got the afternoon off. Make way for a tail, girls. I'm going to get 18 blondes and 12 redheads. I'm going rolling in the park. Hey, clean and press for the Admiral in a hurry. Clean and press for the Admiral in a hurry. Clean and press in a hurry. Clean and press in a hurry. Boy, where do you see the dames go for me? You should see that bearded lady in the circus. Is she a beaut when she gets a shave? When I get through rowing a boat, boy, I'm going to spend a hot weekend on a roller coaster. <laughs> oh. Now I'm going to change my socks. What an experience. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. I always want to see how you look with a permanent wave. Pension? <laughs> Why aren't you men at work? Well, you see, Admiral, he and I were just standing. Oh, look, as an Admiral. <laughs> Get him! Listen, fellas. Hey, you. Salute your superior officer. What do you mean, officer? Man, do your duty. Come on. Come on. Don't you know? Don't you know? You know, I was thinking. Quiet.
Uh, How dare you wear my uniform? I was taking it out for an errand. It's full of... You food. were. I'll press them right away. Is there anything wrong, sir? Yeah, there's a guy... Everything's all right. I wish to talk to those men alone. Aye, aye, sir. You know, for five bucks a piece, I'll get you birds out. I'll bust your skull in five pieces. Get us out, you bubble brain. Say, God, put these men on rations of bread and water. I'll get you for this. On second thought, plain water. Oh! Salt water! Hey, you. Oh, Admiral. Yes? All right, you win. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, there's no sense in getting you guys out of here. You need a pass for the other gate. <laughs> you chucklehead. Yours ain't the only officer's uniform in the tailor shop. You're right. God, release these men. What's all these men are in here for kicking an officer? Oh, kicking an officer, eh? Yes, sir. So you're kicking an officer, eh? Oh, kicking an officer, ah. right? Ah. Ah. Attention! Right face! Forward march! <laughs> My dear Count Gerald, your admiral is late. Admiral Taylor and his staff. That's him now. That's not Admiral Taylor. Be careful, it may be a trap. Don't worry, I'll get the information if it's womanly possible. Admiral Taylor, I believe. How did you know I was a tailor? Why, everyone knows the tailors of Kentucky, one of the oldest families in America. Sure, everybody knows old Taylor, hundred proof. Won't you introduce your friends? Why, certainly, this is... Uh... Man the button, Captain Presser. That's them. Miss Arger, may I present Admiral Taylor, Commander Button, and Captain Presser. Say, when do we eat? Oh! It's a nice hunk of goods there, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Admiral. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to come and sit down? Would I? Let's go over and find a dark corner. It's the kid. The Admiral threads a fast needle. He's an old soul, so. Oh, girls, did you see my tattoo? Uh, there. Do you care for a cigar? Uh... Oh, allow me. Certainly, certainly. Won't you tell me about the Navy? Sure. You see, they feed you beans every day, except on Sunday. That's when you get bean soup. And beans. Oh, Admiral, you're such a sturdy old man. <laughs> and I'm your clinging vine. <laughs> Won't you tell me about your submarines? I don't know anything about submarines. I'm a tailor. I mean, uh... Oh, Admiral. Don't you trust me? <sighs> sure, but I don't trust myself. <laughs> you foolish boy. <laughs> Please, sir. Come on, Toots. Don't mind him. <laughs> Do you smell rubbish burning? It smells like somebody's frying onions. <sighs> get up, get up. <laughs> Am I as heavy as all that? No, but I'm burning up. Get up! <laughs> well, is that nice? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean it, honestly. Oh, please, give me another chance. Will you please? I didn't... Listen, honey, I didn't... Know. I didn't... Know. <laughs> Say, you're getting in my hair. <laughs> and wrong before we eat? What's the matter with you? I think I got spring fever. Spring fever or hay fever? You gotta get that off before anybody sees you. Get out there and I'll help. Oh, you ought to... Better show me. I tell you, I am Admiral Taylor. I beg your pardon. There must be some mistake. The Admiral has been here for quite some time. Uh, I thought this guy was a phony when I caught him snooping around outside the window. Now, just a minute, gentlemen. Those three imposters can identify me. They're enlisted men. Tell these men who I am. How should we know? We never saw you before in our lives. What? Just as I thought. Come on, Bozo, let's no, go. Officer, come please. On. We'll be shot at sunrise for this. Maybe the sun won't come out tomorrow. It might rain. <laughs> we gotta find a place to hide. This plays right into our hands. 
How about that submarine, Admiral? Oh, it's big enough. A submarine? Why, well, certainly. That's perfect. That is, I mean, uh, <clears throat> what are we waiting for? Calling all patrol boats. Calling all patrol boats. Submarine M9 has left port unauthorized. Last seen headed out to sea. Stop her. That is all. Hmm, see? I told you you couldn't get away with it. My government needs this submarine, and I'll either get it to them or stick in the attempt. But what about us? One move out of you and I'll kill you. If you do, I'll never talk to you again. for when we run out of air. Oh, you think you're in the movies? Oh! We're trapped like rats. Speak for yourself. Oh, a microscope. I can see! I can see! What? <laughs> what do you see? Water! Why? What was that? A school of catfish just went by. <laughs> hey, bloodhound. Hey, bloodhound. Get to your post. What post? I don't see no post, not even a street lamp. I'll put both your lamps out. <laughs> calling all battleships, calling all Navy planes, calling all bombers, calling all naval craft. Submarine M9 stolen by enemy spies. Sink her at all cost. That is all. <laughs> that is all? Ain't that enough? We better get this thing back before they find us. Right. Man the wheel. What wheel? Any wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Submarine M9 was sighted just off the breakwater. Order batteries one and six to open fire at once. Yes, sir. Firing and order my gate. I'm going aboard that sub. Yes, sir. Look 
with it into the flat. Look, they were shooting at me. No! What'd you catch, kid? A pelican. That's an aerial bomb, you sap. No! Wait a minute. This can't hurt any of us. It's a duck. Oh, a duck, eh? Wait a minute. What are you trying to do? I'll fix it so it don't hurt anybody. I'll beat its brains out. Huff! You'll be court martial for this. Arrest these traitors. Oh, now, wait a minute, sir. We're no traitors. We captured those spies. We did it for you, sir. Oh, remarkable. You'll be rewarded for this. How did you do it? It was a cinch, Admiral. I took a piece of pipe and crowned him like this. Hey, step on it. Look who's coming. Wow. <laughs> Dr. Powell, yes, yes. bad news. The police are unable to find any trace of Professor Tuttle. His disappearance has them completely baffled. That ruins our hopes of ever finding the tomb of King Rutentutin. Professor Tuttle is the only man alive who knows its exact location. First, Professor Dalton dies mysteriously, and then Tuttle disappears. Yes. Something terrible happens to anyone who tries to explore that tomb. I'm telling you, it is the curse of Rootin Tootin. But unless we secure the mummy of King Rootin Tootin, our entire collection is worthless. We must find Tuttle. Well, I'm doing the best I can. I sent for the three best investigators in the city, and they are our last hope. Come in. At your service night and day, if we don't get them, you don't pay. Excelsior! To the hunt! Where's Professor Tuttle? He's been kidnapped. That's why we sent for you. Kidnapped, eh? What's the old bird look like? Here is a picture of Professor Tuttle. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Gentlemen, you must find him. I got an idea. What is it? We'll start in the basement. To the basement! To the basement! To the basement! To the basement! <laughs> This must be the basement. Excuse us for butting in, mister, but we're looking for a kidnapped professor. We're detectives. Oh, detectives, eh? And you're looking for a kidnapped professor. Well, well. Hey, look, fellas, I've got to carry this out. Will you give me a hand? Sure, you might do us a favor someday. I'll take that end. I'll take this end. I'll take the end in the middle. I'll open the door. Up she goes, boy. Oh, boy. Take it easy. Up, there she she go. Got it. Take it okay. Easy. Are you all right, baby? Easy, easy. Oh. You take it easy or I won't let you carry it at all. Professor Tuttle? Certainly not. Have you? No. Have you? No. That means we'll never find the missing king. How'd you know the king was missing? I... Oh, so you're the one, eh? That's how you won my 13 cents. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. Who came in? You don't understand. The missing king is Rootin' Tootin' the third of Egypt. Oh, missing persons are right up our alley. When was he last seen? About uh, 2,000 years, come Michaelmas Day. Huh, a mere bag of tell. Give us 2,000 years and we'll bring him back alive. Come any day. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to accept their offer. Nobody in his right mind would undertake that expedition. It's almost certain death. Let's hire them before they find out about the curse of King Rootin' Tootin'. Done. And if the curse does strike them, it will be a blessing to humanity. Gentlemen, you're hired. We're sending you to bring back the mummy of King Rootin' Tootin'. You leave immediately for Cairo. Say, I got an uncle in Cairo. He's a chiropractor. And if you are successful, we will pay you $5,000. The recovery of the mummy will prove of untold value to science. For science! For science! For 5,000 bucks! Be more science! 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 Be more
Taxi, taxi, taxi. Taxi. Where to? Egypt. Right. Huh? to Ali Ben Woodman and his swinging Bedouins. Do you need money? Borrow on your camel or elephant. No red tape, no cosigners. Everywhere we go, commercial announcements. Shut that thing off. Where's the map? I must have lost it. Now we'll have to travel by compass. I wonder are we near the place. Well, being there's no other place around the place, I reckon this must be the place, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> If we don't come to a filling station pretty soon, I'm going to die of thirst. Me too. My throat feels like a bale of hay. Hey, hey. I think I'll reconnoiter. I think I'll get my hat. We're coming to a jungle. I can see the tangled underbrush. And camels walking through it. No, no. They're octopus. Uh, I can't see anything. You will. Oh. Look. A signpost. Come on. Oh, boy, we're nearly in Cairo. The tomb ought to be around here someplace. I'd rather go to Tunis. Then we can have tuna sandwiches for lunch. Look. Water. Real pure salty water. It's the ocean. Ocean nothing. That's a mirage. Mirage is something you see yourself in. That's a mirage. Mirage? That's where you keep your automobile. I said a mirage. Mirage, mirage, whatever it is, I'm going swimming. <laughs> Gee, the water's cold. You think I'm crazy? Come on, try it. The last one is an old man. Come on. Ready, set, go. Oh. I wonder where we are. Maybe we're in the subway. This is the tomb of the mighty king, Rootin' Tootin'. How do you know? I didn't say anything. Neither did I. Infidels, prepare to die. Did you ask for it? No, wait a minute. Let me get out of here. No, let me get out of here. Listen, fellas, wait. Listen, I gotta get out. No. I gotta get out. We'll look around the joint. Take a grip on yourself. Turn me loose. I want to be free. Now, come on. We'll look around there. Okay. Ah! 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 Wise guy, you lead the way. But listen, I... Go on. I'll go when I'm ready. Are you ready? Follow me. Gee, it's spooky in here. I'm glad you guys are behind me. There should be a door here. Pardon me. 
feet. Can you tell me how I can get out of here? Oh, excuse me. I didn't know you were a lady, Mummy. Hmm, looks like rootin' tootin'. Oh, oh boy, it's rootin' tootin' all right. Oh, nails, huh? That's what you think. Well, there's my orders, and when I get to them, I'll be like, I'm going to Talking to mummies. Don't you believe me? He's right over there. Come on. Hmm. Talking to a mummy. What does he think I am? An imbecile? They're going swimming again. Come on, we can't stay in this tomb all day. We gotta get the king out of here. Come on. Hmm, that well is dangerous. Hmm. Grab a hold of that mummy and be careful. It's worth five thousand dollars. You and I will try to find that door. Give those pals of yours a chance to get the money. Well, you better start to talk before I count three. Where is that mummy? One, two... Wait, wait. It's in there. I don't know where the door is. All right, tear down the wall. And you better be telling the truth. Because if that mummy isn't in there intact, it'll be the finish for you and those three ghouls. Get it? If they find out we killed the mummy, they'll kill us. What'll we do? I got an idea. We'll make a mummy out of you. I can't be a mummy. I'm a daddy. All right, so you'll be a daddy, mummy. Oh, that's different. Hurry up, get those bandages. Yeah, good thing I'm an old tailor. Go, get your arm done. Here they come. Don't even take a breath. 
Well, fancy seeing you here. Ah, so you guys are in there, eh? Where's Rupert Tootin? Over there, and he's as good as new. Boy, was he homely. Awful. Say, where are those jewels are supposed to be buried with them? Oh, they always wrap them up inside the mummy. We'll have to cut him open. Let me have that sharp knife you got there. He's burst open. The Yanks won World Series. Can you beat that? Yeah, and I won five bucks. No kidding. I had the Cubs and... What? Hijackers, <laughs> <laughs> eh? Hey, after a <laughs> boy. They're gone, Professor. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, but what about King Rootin' Tootin and the 5,000? He blew away. That wasn't King Rootin' Tootin. That was his wife, Queen Hotsy Totsy. This is Rootin' Tootin. He was a midget. A midget? And all this trouble over a shrimp like that? What a small world! Oh, oh boy, boy, a midget. Oh, boy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, fellas, look! A mummy alligator! I'm gonna take him home! Oh, boy, would you look good on my wall! How am I gonna get you up here? Oh, a rope! No, 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 no! <laughs> What's the matter? He bit me! Ah, he couldn't bite. Taxi! Taxi! Dogs are killing me. Well, mine ain't exactly wagging a tail with joy. If we don't find a job. I'm so hungry I could eat a skunk. Raw. Look. A banquet. What are we waiting for? Hey, 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 He's got the ball. Oh, that's right. Hey, Larry! Quick! Pass it! Larry, pass it! I got it! What'd you throw it so high for? Now you wrecked it! You know I can't... <laughs> What's the idea of dropping a thing with you? No! Hey, hey! <laughs> they stole my melon! Canvas back duck club. Salesman wanted. Are you guys salesmen? That's fine. Come on, we got a job. Your troubles are over. Here we are. We are the best salesmen that ever sailed. Got a piece of bacon in your pocket? Why? You keep me busy, I'll get some eggs for breakfast. You try that and I'll crack your head like an eggshell. Come on. You men ever sold anything? Why, Satan, anything we could lay our hands on. Gentleman said sold, not stole. Oh, I misunderstood him. Pardon me. Well, what do we sell? Memberships in the Canvasback Duck Club. Canvasback? When I was a fighter, that's what they called me. I was on the canvas so much, I used to stand like that. Not for long. And then my foot wiggled the rosin in my hey, eyes. Canvas. See that? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, gentlemen, gentlemen, listen to me. With this proposition, you can't go wrong. Remember this, boys. Every red-blooded man is a potential hunter at heart. Why, there's one in every office. That's right, boys. All you have to do is appeal to the primitive in them, and you can't go wrong. And for every membership you sell, you get 10% of $50. Think of it, 10%. Think of it, 10%. Oh, boy, $3. <laughs> Gentlemen, you're on your way to success. We're glad to have you with us. And you, too. Let me be the first to congratulate you. And you, good luck. Did I hunt? Did I hunt? Did I hunt? Did I hunt? 
Come on, start selling. Who are we going to sell to? Every red brother he man is a potentate hunter. There's one in every office. That's right. I'll go this way. I'll go that way. I'll go that way. <laughs> Spread out, remember. Ducks is ducks and cash is king. And never the twain shall meet. Go on, start selling like I told you. No take no for an answer. No, sir. Oh. Look out, look out. You want a duck? Yes. Look out, now, don't do that. Don't do that. Ducks, ducks. Who wants to buy some ducks? Is your blood red? Are you a potent hunter? All you need is a prime appeal. What about a duck? There's one in every office. Hey, remember me? Your face looks familiar, but I don't know where to put it. Yeah. I'm your boss. What a coincidence. I knew I saw you someplace before. <laughs> is that a proposition or is that a proposition? You can't go wrong, pal. I don't want any ducks. But listen, buddy. No ducks. Hmm, no ducks. No ducks. Can't we appeal to your privilege? Only 50 bucks, miss. It's a chance of a lifetime. I don't eat ducks. I'm a vegetarian. Well, eat the vegetables, see? And leave the duck. Come on. No! Oh! Call the old duck head it! Call the old duck head it! Duck head this way! Say, brother, the chance of a lifetime. Want to buy a wild duck? If not, why not? Oh, I don't want to buy any Please. ducks. Whoa! 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 Hey, you guys, come here! Oh! muscle-bound porcupine. You would throw a pass and let a cop intercept it with his head. Right up. I didn't say nothing. Well, that's for what you were thinking. My mind's a blank. You. We're surrounded. Come on. Hi, officer. We can't get Yes, this is the chief of police. No, I don't want to be disturbed by anyone except the mayor. When he comes, show him in. Thanks. What is this? The chance of a lifetime. You're about to join a duck club. Not today. I'm busy. Get out. Get out. Uh
listen, fella. Relax. Imagine it's dawn. You're waiting for the sunrise on the lake. That duck is calling his mate from the Thule's. <coughs> yeah, I hear it. Now they leave the water. Quick, get down! Get... They're coming closer. I can hear the rustling wings. They're coming within range. Big, fat ones. Now they're circling overhead. They're setting their wings to land. They're coming down. Get your gun ready. Yes. They're right in front of you. Aim at the leader! Okay. Fire! The mayor. The mayor. The mayor, boys. <laughs> the... I still can't figure how those three saps sold those memberships so fast. Who cares? You heard them say on the phone they sold them, and they're on the way here with the dough. And yeah, the minute we get the dough, we're going to scram town. Right. The cops, they're wise to us. We did it! We did it! Hey, Chief, where are you? Say, boss, we sold all the memberships. Here's the dough. All in the same place, too. That's great. Who'd you sell them to? The police department. Uh, we even sold one to the chief. And the mayor. We're going to see the governor tonight. The governor? We're going up to the club with the chief and the mayor. They're outside now waiting for us. Like to meet them? No, no, we're too busy. We'll meet them up at the club in the morning. OK, give us our commission. We'll get out of here. Well, we're kind of short of cash. We'll bring your commission to the club. Not that we don't trust you, but could you give us an IOU? Oh, sure, we'll give you an IOU. There we are. I owe you 10%. Now sign right here. Thanks. Hey, you're not going to let him get away with that, are you? Oh, a wise guy, eh? Give me back my pencil. Hmm. Now we're off to the hunt. 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 Better get the limit. Well, if we don't, our money will be refunded. Correct, Chief. Absolutely correct. Uh, hmm, must be another customer. I think it's Blackie and Doyle. Maybe they got our money. Oh, Paul Revere. Uh, just passing. Thought the old club was haunted. Nobody been around here in goodness knows when. Fine, that should make the duck hunting better. Duck hunting? Why, man, there ain't been a wild duck around here in years. Wild ducks, duck hunting. <laughs> <laughs> well, there better be ducks, or you guys will get 20 years. Oh, uh, don't mind that old bird. He's cuckoo, Chief. Sure, we'll go right out, Chief, and make sure there's plenty of ducks. Yeah. Hey, and don't try any funny stuff, because you can't get away from the police department. Certainly, old Chief, you old kid, old Chief, old kid. We'll be back in a quack with a quack. And I do mean quack. Look out! This is a fine mess. What we gotta do is get some ducks. I got it. Go get me some duck eggs. I'll sit on them and hatch them. We can't wait that long. Go on out and rustle up some ducks and hurry up. Hurry up! <laughs> Listen, Porcupine, I got an idea. Get these decoys. I got it. Ouch! All right, wise guy, you said there was ducks. Where are they? Now, don't get excited, Chiefy. You get ready to shoot. I'll call them. <coughs> ducks. <coughs> you better watch for them. You got him. Well, I certainly... Oh, <laughs> no, you got him, Mayor. It's working all right. Now if that pudding head will only find some ducks. We can't hold out much longer. This is the last one. Quit stalling. Let it go. Oh! Remind me to kill you later. Yeah, blow up one of these rubber decoys. You're a 
tear your esophagus out. <laughs> Quiet. What is this, a gag? It better not be. They're heptos, and that nitwit had it to sight us. We better scream. Come on. Cut out that quacking. That ain't me. Are you sure? Yeah. You do it. Where'd you get those ducks? You heard of the pie eyed piper of Hamlin, ain't you? Yeah. Well, I figured if he could pipe rats pie eyed, then I could pipe duck sober. Look! Millions of them! Let them have it! Say, why can't we get our share of ducks? Certainly, that's a good idea. Come on! Let's go. Why don't you put a shell out? What's the idea of doing that? I made another hole so the water can go out. I'll see you shooting off. What do you mean? That's the way I always do What are you doing in swimming? Well, I... Come on, I mean, you're scared of all the ducks. Come on up there. Oh, look out. Watch him in there. Almost got him, didn't I? Look! Hey, why don't you watch where you're shooting? <laughs> there they are, Sam. Chief, was that hunting or not? I'll say it was. Those guys are all right. You hear that? Come on. Hey, keep me, keep me. How'd you like it, eh? Delayed, fine. That's good. Those ducks will cost you five dollars each. What? what do you mean? Well, they're my prize ducks. Those duck thieves stole them from oh, me. No. What? 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 what?
dogs are killing me. Well, mine ain't exactly wagging a tail for joy. If we don't find a job... I'm so hungry, I could eat a skunk. Raw! Look! A banquet. What are we waiting for? He's got the ball. Oh, that's right. Hey, Larry! Quick! Pass it! Larry, pass it! I got it! What'd you throw it so high for? Now you wrecked it! You know I can't... <laughs> What's the idea of dropping a thing with you? No! <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> they stole my melon! Canvas back duck club. Salesman wanted. Are you guys salesmen? That's fine. Come on, we got a job. Your troubles are over. Here we are. We are the best salesmen that ever sailed. Got a piece of bacon in your pocket? Why? You keep me busy, I'll get some eggs for breakfast. You try that and I'll crack your head like an eggshell. Come on. You men ever sold anything? Why, Satan, anything we could lay our hands on. Gentleman said sold, not stole. Oh, I misunderstood him. Pardon me. Well, what do we sell? Memberships in the Canvasback Duck Club. Canvasback? When I was a fighter, that's what they called me. I was on the canvas so much. I used to stand like that. Not for long. And then my foot wake, and the rosin in my hey, eyes. Canvas. See that? Oh, oh, what... oh. Ah, gentlemen, gentlemen, listen to me. With this proposition, you can't go wrong. Remember this, boys. Every red-blooded man is a potential hunter at heart. Why, there's one in every office. That's right, boys. All you have to do is appeal to the primitive in them, and you can't go wrong. And for every membership you sell, you get 10% of $50. Think of it, 10%. Think of it, 10%. Oh, boy, $3. Get out. <laughs> Gentlemen, you're on your way to success. We're glad to have you with us. And you, too. Let me be the first to congratulate you. And you, good luck. Start selling. Who are we going to sell to? Every red brother he man is a potentate hunter. There's one in every office. That's right. I'll go this way. I'll go that way. I'll go that way. <laughs> Spread out and remember. Ducks is ducks and cash is king. And never the twain shall meet. Go on, start selling like I told you. No take no for an answer. No, sir. Oh. Look out, look out. You want a duck? Yes. Look out, now don't do that. Don't do that. Ducks, ducks. Who wants to buy some ducks? Is your blood red? Are you a potent hunter? All you need is a prime appeal. What about a duck? There's one in every office. Hey, remember me? Your face looks familiar, but I don't know where to put it. Yeah. I'm your boss. What a coincidence. I knew I saw you someplace before. <laughs> is that a proposition or is that a proposition? You can't go wrong, pal. I don't want any ducks. But listen, buddy. No ducks. Hmm, no ducks. No ducks. Can't we appeal to your privilege? Only 50 bucks makes it the chance of a lifetime. I don't eat ducks. I'm a vegetarian. Well, eat the vegetables, see? And leave the duck. Come on. Oh. Call the old duck on it. Call the old duck on it. Duck on it this way. Duck on it this way. Say, brother, the chance of a lifetime. Wanna buy a wild duck? If not, why not? No, I don't want to buy any Please. ducks. Whoa. 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 Hey, you guys, come here.
You muscle-bound porcupine. You would throw a pass and let a cop intercept it with his head. Right up. I didn't say nothing. Well, that's for what you were thinking. My mind's a blank. You. Wish around it. Come on. Hello, Jack. Hi, officer. We can't get Yes, this is the chief of police. No, I don't want to be disturbed by anyone except the mayor. When he comes, show him in. Thanks. What is this? The chance of a lifetime. You're about to join a duck club. Not today. I'm busy. Get out. Get out. Now, listen, fella. Relax. Imagine it's dawn. You're waiting for the sunrise on the lake. A duck is calling his mate from the Thule's. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Now they leave the water. Quick, get down here. They're coming closer. I can hear the rustling wings. They're coming within range. Big, fat ones. Now they're circling overhead. They're setting their wings to land. They're coming down. Get your gun ready. Yes. They're right in front of you. Aim at the leader. Okay. Fire! The mayor. The mayor? The mayor, boys. <laughs> well, I still can't figure how those three saps sold those memberships so fast. Who cares? You heard them say on the phone they sold them, and they're on the way here with the dough. Yeah, and the minute we get the dough, we're going to scram town. Right. The cops, the wives to us. <laughs> Boss, we sold all the memberships. Here's the dough. All in the same place, too. That's great. Who'd you sell them to? The police department. Uh, we even sold one to the chief. And the mayor. We're going to see the governor tonight. The governor? We're going up to the club with the chief and the mayor. They're outside now waiting for us. Like to meet them? No, no, we're too busy. We'll meet them up at the club in the morning. OK, give us our commission. We'll get out of here. Well, we're kind of short of cash. We'll bring your commission to the club. Not that we don't trust you, but could you give us an IOU? Oh, sure, we'll give you an IOU. There we are. I owe you 10%. Now sign right here. Thanks. Hey, you're not going to let him get away with that, are you? Oh, a wise guy, eh? Give me back my pencil. Hmm. Now we're off to the hunt. 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 To Better get the limit. Well, if we don't, our money will be refunded. Correct, Chief. Absolutely correct. Uh, hmm, must be another customer. I think it's Blackie and Doyle. Maybe they got our money. Oh, Paul Revere. Uh, just passing. Thought the old club was haunted. Nobody been around here in goodness knows when. Fine, that should make the duck hunting better. Duck hunting? Why, man, there ain't been a wild duck around here in years. Wild duck, duck hunting. <laughs> <laughs> well, there better be ducks, or you guys will get 20 years. Oh, uh, don't mind that old bird. He's cuckoo, Chief. Sure, we'll go right out, Chief, and make sure there's plenty of ducks. Yeah. Hey, and don't try any funny stuff, because you can't get away from the police department. Certainly, old Chief, you old kid, old Chief, old kid. We'll be back in a quack with a quack. And I do mean quack. Look no! out! This is a fine mess. What we gotta do is get some ducks. I got it. Go get me some duck eggs. I'll sit on and hatch them. We can't wait that long. Go on out and rustle up some ducks and hurry up. Hurry up! <laughs> Listen, Porcupine, I got an idea. Get these decoys. I got it. <laughs> Ouch! All right, wise guy, you said there was ducks. Where are they? Now, don't get excited, Chiefy. You get ready to shoot. I'll call them. <coughs> ducks, <coughs> you better watch for them. I mean, 
and you got him. Well, I certainly... Oh, <laughs> no, you got him, Mayor. It's working all right. Now if that pudding head will only find some ducks. We can't hold out much longer. This is the last one. Quit stalling. Let it go. Oh! Remind me to kill you later. Here, blow up one of these rubber decoys. You ought to tear your esophagus out. this, a gag? It better not be. They're hep to us, and that nitwit had it to sight us. We better sway him. Come on. Cut out that quacking. That ain't me. Are you sure? Yeah. Almost got him, didn't I? Well, they're my prize ducks. 
Those stuff team stole them from me. What? today, boys. Tell them what we have. Well, Doc, I got a terrific pain right here. Every time I squeeze my Adam's apple, I can taste cider. Oh! <laughs> we'll have the merchant's lunch. Okay. Uh, merchant's lunch on two. Hey. Ice water coming up. This soup is a marvelous accomplishment. It's a prodigious achievement. You're gonna love it. It's putrid. Dr. Lyman, if we could get these silly fellows to call on little Betty, their antics might snap her out of her lethargy. That might be worth a try. Oh, well, boys, I'm going to ask you to do something that may save the life of a little girl. Will you do it? Certainly. What is it? Well, this is the situation. This little girl's father is a bank cashier who disappeared with $300,000 worth of bonds. Hmm, nice wig if you can get it. The police figure that he was kidnapped while delivering these bonds, but his little girl Someone please bring back my daddy. Yes, darling, but look what the doctor's brought you. Hello. 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 Ooh, lollipops. I want a lollipop. Give me a lollipop. Oh, give us a pop. Oh, you want a pop? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you broke my A train going to Kansas City, 120 miles an hour. What's the engineer's name? I don't know. What's the engineer's name? Pat McCarthy. How do you know? I asked him. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and one measly petunia. A what? Petunia, petunia. Don't you mean chrysanthemum and a mum? I mean petunia. I heard you the first time. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Wasn't that funny, darling? I did. It's no use. Unless we find the girl's father, she'll never get well. Then we'll find him. But how, gentlemen? You said the little girl and the father always yodel to each other like this. That's what the little girl said. Well, that's all we want to know. If he'll answer that yodel, we'll find him. Remember, gentlemen, he's 40 years old, has a bald spot on his head, and an anchor tattooed on his shoulder. And he's five foot ten in the stocking feet. In his stocking feet? Oh! His stocking feet. What's that for? To measure him. Good luck, gentlemen. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, 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 where are you going? We'll find the little girl's father. Goodbye, Doc. Goodbye. 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 No balls, man. Two shoes. Yo, I've been in the game for two decades strong. 20 years deep, never felt like I belonged From the streets to the stage, I spit truth in every song My lyrics cut deep like a knife in the dawn I hustle hard, grind it from dust till dawn Every setback just fuels my fire I spawn from the concrete jungle where dreams are born I rise above the noise like a fiendish reborn This is my life, I start in my life 
from the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine my legacy Forever into front, this is my life, my story, my rhyme From the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine my legacy Forever into I put it all The highs and lows From the penthouse suites To the streets where it snows But no matter the path The journey I chose I stay true to myself That's how it goes I spit verses like bullets Piercing through the night Shattering illusion Shedding truth Shedding light With every rhyme I write I take flight Defying gravity Reaching new heights This is my life My story My rhyme from the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine My legacy forever intertwined This is my life, my story, my rhyme From the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine My legacy forever intertwined So here I stand on the stage alone A warrior poet with a heart of stone I paid my dues, I caught my mind Got the scale low, better for the desert This is my legacy Forever intact I gotta rain better for the desert Yeah, better for the desert I'm a veteran in the game Ain't no turning back This is my legacy Forever intact No ball spot No tattoo No nothing up. Is that the sun up there? I don't know. I'm a stranger in town. Don't forget, five foot ten in the stock and feet. Okay. That can't be him. Why not? He ain't got no stockings on. He's got his legs on backwards. Oh, I'll get going. Woo! Two foot nine! <laughs> it's a midget. Hey, what are you trying to do? Don't you believe in reincarnation? Reincarnation. <laughs> Don't you bark at me. <laughs> Whoa, bugging into people, eh? How tall are you? Have you got a bald spot? Can you yodel? Crazy people. See how suspicious he acted? That must be him. Let's get him. Come on. Oh. I'm sorry, mister. Yeah, come on, kid. We'll go and buy you some more beer. Oh, the man's beer. Oh, come on. We'll buy you some more. Hello. Hello. This is Sergeant Cassidy. Any more news on that missing bank cashier? Huh? Yeah, I'll take care of it. All right. Thank you, Fellas. You're sure swell, guys. That's all right. I hope your friends enjoy the beer. Yeah. Come on. Come on. We asked you a question. You did? Yeah, can you yodel? Can I yodel? Have you got an anchor tattooed on your shoulder? What's it to you, anyway? Oh, a wise guy. Oh! Come on, boys, get him. Lay him up in the corner and undress him. Yes. Oh! See oh. if you can find any identification. See if he's got any marks. Well, I'll take it easy. Wait for the tattoo mark. Get off oh. the shoe. I got it. No. Oh. No bonds. No identification. Oh, yes, there is. He's a boy scout. He's a detective. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll get you. Yeah, I'm disgusted. I'm gonna quit. Wait a minute. There's no quitting when we find a little girl's father. Remember that. Start yodeling. Hold this. Okay. Yodeling, yodeling. See you pushing around. 
Time you showed up. How much longer are we going to stall around like this? Quit your squawking. As soon as the heat cools off, the boss says we take him bye bye. Then we scrant to South America with the 300 grand. Well, I'm not waiting. I'm going to see the boss. Okay, by me. Hiya, babe. I'm a cowboy from the Western Plains. I hate city streets and I hate city trains. Oh, delay. Son of a... Who's that? Toy mites! Oh. A wise guy, huh? Sam, wise guy! I don't know who you fellas are, but I can never repay you for this. Tish, tish. Look, he's handcuffed. Yeah, it's tied to the bed. Get up, I got an idea. He. We'll have to take this bed frame apart and slide it through the handcuff. All right, get busy. Put some beef on it now. Come on, a little more. L.A. All right, slide it. Oh. What's the idea? Always hit Stop arguing. It's off, ain't it? This one's locked, too. What do we do now? Well, you break the arm off about there, then you... You don't like that? Well, then we can blast. Get out of here. You go get... Oh. Look. Bent to fit the head. We yeah. gotta get gone. Drop that. We gotta get gone. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit da, hit da, hit da, hit da, hit da. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Come on. Wait, my bonds. See, thought you'd get him, huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here comes the mob. Quick, barricade the door. You know, I got the whole thing. Hey, somebody's in the mattress. Quick, kill him. I got him. No, you didn't. Hey, Butch, let us in. We're trapped like rats. Speak for yourself, Roden. Open up, eh? Open up, I said. The dumbwaiter. Hey, I resent that. Not you, the other dumbwaiter. Oh. You go down first and send it right back up. Hurry. Hey! 
Take off my head. Hey! Cut it out, huh? Hey, you're talking me. Cut it out! Get down, send it right back up. Joe, for this. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Take this with me. Here, 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 here. He's haunted. I guess that's good. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Here you I'm sick and tired of following you. I'll lead the way. I'll get started. Okay. Hey, fellas, I found the steps. You see, I told you, all you gotta do is follow me and I'll. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm dead. I'm murdered. I'm killed. I'm annihilated. What will the world do without me? What will I do without myself? I'm slaughtered. I'm annihilated. I'm destroyed. I'm barbecued. I'm done for. Can you think of anything else? No, you've covered it all. I'm not even wounded? That's what you think. <laughs> oh! 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 There they are. Get them. Scatter boys. Get away, get away. Hey, Mo! Hey, Larry! I think I got them! Ah, I took care of you guys, eh? Hey, Mo! Hey, Larry! I took care of them! I, uh, uh, I took care of you, too! Oh, a candle! Where have you been hiding all night? Custard for mine. Oh, oh custard. Sweetly. <laughs> and now everything is all Jake. All it's all Thank you.